ones wooing me Arrow holes that never close from Cupid on a shooting spree Feeling stupid cause I know it ain't no you and me But when you're trying to beat the odds up and trying to keep your nods up You know that you should know and let it go But the fear of the unknown on another lover's phone Send you back into the zone With no time hanks to bring you home A lover not a fighter on the front line with a poem Trying to write yourself a rifle, maybe shopping up a song to fight the tanks and drones and you being alone. I wish I never did. I wish I never touched. I wish that I could stop loving you so much. It's not the only one that's trying to keep us together. Yeah, I'm all I'm trying to say that I should forget. I wish you were the best, best I ever had. I wish that the good is outweighed the bad. You'll never be over. probably turned out for the most part the way I thought it would the journey to get there was what I didn't really expect I didn't expect to have to train relatively two new goalkeepers I didn't expect to have a 41 goal scorer I didn't expect that we would have to be so entertained in virtually every single one of our games in close contests, battling it out every single opportunity that we stepped onto the field. What I did expect though, and what did happen, was that the boys worked their rear ends off. The boys did everything they could to make sure that this year was a success. We had every reason to believe that this was gonna be the type of a year that we were gonna start over. We had finished twice, three times, second place, and this was the year that we were supposed to struggle just a bit. I'm very proud of the seniors. I'm very proud of the second and third year varsity players for not allowing that to happen. To finish tied for third in a year we weren't expected to be that successful is a fantastic accomplishment. I'm very proud of the boys. I'm very proud of their effort. I'm very proud of the way that they competed in every single game. And from a perspective as a fan, I can't think of any other season that was as entertaining game to game as this year was. 
Uh, it's a great honor and privilege being a part of the uh, Heritage Soccer family, um, to be able to give back to uh, Coach Sloan for everything he did for myself and my son, and then everything that we have to build on from this point forward in the future. Uh, it's, it looks very promising, and I'm very excited to be a part of it. Hello guys, I just want to say thank you to Coach Sloan and Coach Whalen for giving me the opportunity of being part of this uh, great family. Uh, this team is great. I'm proud of uh, everybody on, on the team, the efforts, um, all the things that you guys did on the field made me feel very uh, accomplished on this mission of helping you guys, uh, trying getting you, and my goal is to, to see if you all can go to college eventually and um, work a lot during the, the off season so we can be ready for the, the next season. I see a lot of talent. Uh, that needs to be polished a little bit and very grateful to be part of your growth. Um, uh, to the seniors, I really wish you the best in the path to these careers that you're about to start. Um, it's, if anyways, you're going to be playing soccer, whether it's club or something, because you, I, I can see that you have it in you. Uh, Logan, I, I specifically talk about you. I can see you playing, keep playing in college and I hope that and I'll be there eventually to go and watch you play. Uh, to all the other players, let's uh, get in shape. I hope that we can uh, get together soon to, to play a little bit or just I'll be just watching. I don't play, but I just watch and yell in the corners. But it's, it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, thanks again, and uh, I'm glad to be here for you.
year was special for me well, because it was my senior year. I was the oldest guy on the team, the captain. Uh, it was really special to me because we did something that nobody thought that we could. We came in third. And for, for who we lost last year, and that that's just honestly amazing. We dropped one place, but we lost four amazing players. And just being able to overcome all odds was something that I'm very proud of. Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to congratulate on a successful season. I also want to congratulate Logan as being selected as an All-American this year. Enjoy your night, and I hope to see you guys soon. Hey, guys. Um, I wanted to congratulate you guys for the season. We seriously thought it would be a disaster, but it turns out that y'all had a pretty good season. So congratulations for that, and um, I wanted to congratulate Logan Scheidel. Man, All-American, that's awesome. Proud of you. Um, you should also thank your teammates because you couldn't have done it without them. And um, I hope to all the seniors you can continue playing soccer some, some way or some other. Um, and yeah. Well, as, as far as being a captain, it was really a privilege because a lot of great guys have been captains before for this team. You know, like Ricky and Michael Ryan and Hunter. Some great guys and it was a privilege to walk in their footsteps. I think that it was important for me to be a leader on this team and that's sort of why I stepped up to be a captain. It was great being able to work with my team and really encourage them at the low points that we had during the season. I think that it's important as a leader to always look forward and always be um, positive even when it comes to the lowest points in the season and in life. So I really, it was a privilege serving as a captain of this team. Playing for Heritage was very fun to me. Um, me. It allowed me to play with my friends and represent this community. And it allowed me to um, develop as a man and get um, character. Character as like, it helped me, allowed me to have respect for more people. And it allowed me to play against like competition, something I wouldn't do if I wasn't in school or playing for Heritage. I didn't want to play for no other school besides Heritage.
pressure on you as a starting goalkeeper when you go out onto the field on game day to not let the rest of your teammates down by making a mistake like it's a lot bigger of a deal if you make a mistake because it counts as a goal as opposed to your teammates making a mistake and still having another defender to fall in behind them um i definitely enjoyed going out there and warming up with joe every game that was definitely something that put a smile on my face he's just like a hard-working kid and I, it was definitely uh good to have him on the bench to like cheer you up when you had a bad game. Starting out freshman year, I didn't really think that senior year was going to come around so quick. And then after after it hit me on the Leesville game that it's over and that I'm not going to be able to do it ever again, it, it was uh, very dramatic for me because all I wanted to do was play soccer with my best friends. And once that was taken away from me, it really impacted my life a lot. And um, it's is really upsetting that I'm never going to be able to do that again. So to you freshmen and to you younger players, I want you to remember that it is, it's not going to last forever and that you need to soak in every moment you got with all your best friends because they're, soon it's going to be over. So you need to make sure you um, take, all, take all the chances you can and uh, have fun while you have it. I got a huge thank out. I gotta thank all the coaches I've had these past four years, Sloan, Pilkington, uh, Wyland, all of them, Willie, they've all had a huge impact on my life and how I've played soccer. And uh, I got a huge thank for my parents, they've always been there for me, and regardless of what, how I'm, if I'm up, if I'm down, or anything, they've always been there for me. And um, I gotta keep, like I said, a huge thank to all my best friends, it's just made the season so much more memorable and easy. Regardless if we're doing good or bad, so I can always just look to my left and to my right and see my best friends. It makes everything so much easier. I'd like to say thank you to Coach Sloan. He's been a great coach all four years. Uh, 
Coach Wyland, who just this year, I mean, he's been a friend for all four years, but just this year, he, he's been a great coach, a great addition. I never really got to work a lot with Taylor, but just messing around with him on the field, he's a great guy. Uh, for the guys next year and the years to come, just don't forget that this program is based on hard work. We, we've never been the best team, but we've always worked hard. And for the past four years, my four years, we finished in very high places, either second or third. And you can't forget what wins games, and that's hard work. Seniors. Cooper, Gallo, Bridgeland, Scheidel, Moe, and Marco. Thank you for everything that you have given to the Heritage Husky Soccer Program. We're forever in your debt. I want to wish you guys the very best moving forward. And I want to remind you, even though your senior year is over, even though your high school scholastic soccer season is done, you're always going to be a member of our soccer family. Please don't be strangers and make sure that you always stay connected to the program. I want to wish you all the very best of luck. I'll miss you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to get to high school. I'm 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 going to get to high school. They took away the prophet's dream for a prophet on the street. Now she's stronger than you know. A heart of steel starts to grow. On his life, he's been told he'll be nothing when he's old. All the kicks and all the blows, he won't ever let it show. Cause he's stronger than you know. A heart of steel starts to grow. When you've been fighting. Cause they've taken too much hits to blow, blow, blow. 